your sister, I realized that this was a book about healing on so many levels. I loved this quote in the book where you said, people have said I was brave to undergo the bone marrow extraction, but I don't really think so. You have to be a miserable, crappy person to refuse the opportunity to save your sibling. But getting emotionally naked with my sister felt risky. To dig deep into never expressed grievances, secret shame, behind the back stories, blame and judgment wasn't something we had ever done before. Mm -hmm. And so it began. Yeah, well, what I was talking about there is what we came to call our soul marrow transplant. The more she and I put away our egos and emerged in love together, the more we also felt radiantly ourselves. It was quite something. I actually believe right now that love is an activist choice because we're in sort of a tribalized time in the country, us against them. It's never in my lifetime, and you know, I lived through the 60s, and it's never felt so tribalized. Them, us, they're bad, we're good, they're saying the same thing. These kind of um, entrenched sense of us against them is what leads to genocide. The way to combat it is literally to, to try to love the other, to lead with love, even if you're marching, to lead with love. Rumi uh, says, out beyond ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field. I'll meet you there. That's the poem Maggie and I used in our therapy session. We wanted to meet in that field, just beyond right and wrong. There's a field. I want to meet you there.